And you're still here. How was your massage? Hmm? Oh, good. No, 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 stay. Sit. Sit. Stay. Yes. Yes, I, I'd like a pedicure, please. Yes. French chipped. Square shaped. Square. Square. Mm -hmm. Yes. And please use the ballet slip of pink, not the white white. I don't want to look like a valley housewife. <laughs> yes, and please try to avoid the bottom of my feet. I'm quite ticklish. Yes, thank you. Now that's hot. It's hot. Hot! Hot, 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 hot! <laughs> thank you. Janine, the oddest thing just happened. Just now when I was getting my salt scrub, I overheard the salter, or the scrubber, the shaker, the employee person in the next room talking to her client. She said, yes, 30% of our clientele are men, but mostly they are divorced, rich, Beverly Hills ladies. Hmm? Divorced, rich, Beverly Hills ladies. And she said this last part with such an air of exasperation that even though there was a wall between us, I swear I heard her eyes roll. <laughs> yes, even over the Johnny Tesh in the speaker. <laughs> I heard her eyes roll and I thought to myself, who are these divorced, rich, Beverly Hills ladies? Are they us? Are we them? I think I'm gonna do it, Linda. Don't tell mom yet. Get my extreme makeover. Yeah, except I gotta pay for it, not ABC. <laughs> well, I've saved a little, but I think I'm gonna put most of it on my Visa card. Because of the miles. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, because I looked in the mirror and I finally gone to that place. You know, that place you read about or hear old ladies talking about when you're like 25. You know, they don't quite recognize themselves anymore. Yeah. And when I was 25, I was like, Oh, poor old lady. Oh, what cute pants. Because <laughs> I thought I'd never get there. No, but now I look in the mirror, there I am. We'll get that laundry cart before he does. No, Janine, I think you're wrong. Think about it. Divorced, rich, Beverly Hills lady. Yes, I think she was talking about us. Yes, you too. Yes, all right, everyone's talking about you, all right? All right, feel famous, you're famous. Janine, you focus! <laughs> the point is, as I lay there being rubbed and salted like a piece of fish, <laughs> I dozed off and I began to wonder if that indeed is me. At what point, at what moment did I become a divorced, rich, blah, blah, blah? Hmm? It's not as if we were born this way. It's not as if we were born fated to be lifted and sucked. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, I would. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Well, no, of course not. Well, you haven't had a carb since the Nixon administration. <laughs> yes, um, I'd like the fizzy water, please. Yes, and the cucumber sandwich, no bread. And the uh, sun-dried tomato and goat cheese with a pinot nut. Yes, thank you. Now, Jenny, I don't know about you, but I, for one, was born, well, free and extremely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently the shape of my head was quite perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody said so, yeah. The doctor, yeah, it's documented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a teenager, I was, well, I was smart and, well, too wild, really, and, and before I married Sarge, I was, well, I was ambitious and, and hopeful and, well, magna cum laude. <laughs> yes, and nice, sweet, really, very sweet. Ouch! Oh, well, we'll use a septic pencil, please, and disinfect the tool in the blue water. The blue water! Thank you. Well, sure, when I was 30, I said I'd never get plastic surgery. It's because I thought I'd always look 30. You know, a few little lines. You know the ones I'm talking about. The fine lines and wrinkles all the creams and lotions say they'll lessen the appearance of. Yeah. And you know, I've always thought to myself, well, 
Jesus, it's not those lines I want to lessen the appearance of. It's the deep lines and crevices I'd like to get rid of. <laughs> Yeah, but at 30, I just thought, well, I moisturize. <laughs> what do you mean the right stuff? I use it all, Linda. Alpha hydroxy, vitamin C, special serum, royal bee jelly. Which I'm pretty sure is bee poop. <laughs> <laughs> Putting poop on our faces, what the hell? <laughs> And where did it all go? You know, I'm pretty sure there must be a reservoir of lotion somewhere in my body that's just going to burst like a boil one day. <laughs> I'll sit funny and moisturize the world. <laughs> and you know, none of that stuff really works. No, it doesn't. Well, because sometimes you might forget your little facial regimen or you'll smoke or drink or worry or laugh or cry or have a fucking thought. <laughs> yeah, and there you'll be, not able to find your face. <laughs> no, Janine, I think I figured it out. Mm -hmm. It's what we have become. Yes. Divorced, rich, etc. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yes. Own it. Celebrate it. Janine, I read that Lauren Hutton interview, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Janine. We both know why we are part of the club. Mm -hmm. It's because our lovely husbands dumped us for someone more... What's the word they use? Hmm? Fuckable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, excuse my French, but I think that's the word. Mm -hmm. Fuckable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a snack cracker. <laughs> Crunchy fuckables, huh? <laughs> yes, of course, for someone the age of an Olsen twin. Hmm? Yes, someone young with long, straight blonde hair and no little makeup, just lip gloss. Hmm? And long, thin legs. You know the type. Come on. Where's one, huh? There. Look, 9 o'clock. Look. Mm hmm No, that's 8.30. 9 o'clock. <laughs> that's right. By the Lemaire counter. The one with Juicy written across her bottom. <laughs> All smug with her original lips and boobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone interesting, of course. And perhaps a young cellist, yes? Or an up-and-coming screenwriter, of course. Oh, and look, Janine. Look. She even makes those horrible Ugg boots look sexy. Hmm? <laughs> well, these old things, I just wear these when I don't care how I look, huh? <laughs> Ugg. <laughs> well, I was just gonna get Botox, but I like to frown. <laughs> just one look, this look, at John or the boys, and they know I'm in business. If I got Botox, I wouldn't be able to make that look. So I figured just pull it all up. Yeah. Well, they said there might be some discomfort. Oh, I know that's a load of crap. Why don't I just say it hurts? I mean, I've seen it on TV. Well, they cut your face off. <laughs> and then they dig around in your head. That's got to hurt. <laughs> well, because I, I want that face back. You know, your, your original grown-up face. The first face that got the job or had sex or fell in love with John, that face. Well, I'm glad you like this face, Linda. You want it? <laughs> You know, I'd really like to want this face, but unless you can fix it so that all the women in the world make a pact to age gracefully, this is not the face to have. No. I mean, for Christ's sake, Goldie Hawn has an age since 1978. <laughs> no, 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 not no to you, no to her. Yes, yes to you. Yes, cut the cuticle, yes. The first disinfect the tool in the blue ward. The blue ward. 
Thank you. Janine. Perhaps us divorced rich BHLers, huh? <laughs> We're just too busy. Hmm? Too busy buying him his gold toe socks at Barney's to stay interesting. Hmm? Perhaps we were just too busy with college boards and chicken pox and prostates and rapping. Oh, God, the rapping, huh? <laughs> Whoever came up with the gift bag is a goddamn genius. <laughs> Perhaps we were just too busy to stay. And I must use my new favorite word, so I shall. Fuckable. <laughs> Oh, thank you. No, thank you. That looks delicious. Yes. Thank you, my dear out-of-work movie star. Thank you. <laughs> Janine, do you remember? I do. I think I do. I remember I, I woke up and I finally had the time and the energy to take a breath. And I looked around and the kids were grown and, well, he was off with Miss Ung. I think that is the exact moment that I became a divorced, rich, Beverly Hills lady. Mm -hmm. Getting things like scrubbed with salt, eh? Well, not because I ever planned it, or because I particularly like it. I, I mean, feel this. It's rough and hard and itchy, huh? But because I was desperate to be. Oh, dear God. Will you listen to me, hmm? Poor me. I am the guest of honor at my own pity party. With one shitty pity candle. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, Lynn, that's a bottom sheet. <laughs> well, I think I'm going in on Tuesday. Because I knew you'd act like this. I know it's vain, and I know I should use the money on a washer-dryer, but you know, it's not like I, you know, vacation in Monaco, or, or go on the World Poker Tour, or have a buttload of diamonds or anything. I work hard, and it all shows on my face. I mean, if every line tells a story, I'm the frick fracking public library here, Linda. <laughs> well, I'm scared for me, too. Yeah, but, you know, no pain, no gain, right? It'll be okay. I'll be fine. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it, Linda. I really am. Oh, cripes. Would you look at that? I'll never get that out. Maybe I'll just splash the whole thing with Juicy Juice and call it fashion. <laughs> Janine, I am not scaring you. I am in the middle of an epiphany, goddammit. Janine, listen to me. We were not destined. We were devoted. Devoted and full of hope. Oh. God, how poetic. Hmm? Who do I think I am? Jewel? <laughs> to me, the good news is, we did not start out bulimic and insecure. And we weren't born loud and angry and jealous or bitter. And we certainly did not start out destined to become a divorced, rich, Beverly Hills lady. We start out Glorious. Hmm? Oh, no, no, I tickles. No, I said, please don't touch the bottom of my feet. No, no, this is please don't touch my feet. Yeah, I tried shouting it out. Get out, I said. <laughs> <laughs>